Hey everybody, I am back with a book haul today. I hope everyone has been doing well, having a good summer. I have been having such a fun summer reading some good books. Um, today's book haul is going to be a couple library books and then the rest are for review from the publishers for review consideration. I haven't bought any books recently because I'm saving money to go to Spain next spring and to get a puppy. So have been curbing the spending a little bit. Up first are my library books, More Than This by Patrick Ness. I have been meaning to read Patrick Ness's books for forever. I've heard such good things about his books that they're just so incredible. Um, no idea what this is about. The embarrassing thing is this is like the third time I've gotten this from the library. Like I'm the worst with getting books from the library. They always end up being renewed like five times and then going back to the library unread. And so I really want to get to this one so I don't have to do the library walk of shame and bring it back unread for like the fifth time. Next up is Happiness for Beginners. It's an adult fiction book. It has been recommended to me so so much by like some of my closest friends and I'm like I have to get to this. It's about a woman who's 32. She just got divorced in the past year and she really has just been struggling in life after that and her brother who is 10 years younger than her convinces her to go on a wilderness survival trip so she can kind of like get her shit together. She you know is out in the wilderness with the mosquitoes and um some, I think a lot of people who are quite younger than her and it kind of annoy her on this trip, but she ends up learning a lot from them. It sounds so like a me kind of read when it comes to adult fiction, so I'm really excited, especially with all the praise it has been getting from my friends. Next up are the books I got for review um, so far in August. Da Vinci's Tiger. I love historical fiction, so I'm pretty excited about this one. It's set in like the Renaissance in Florence, and I love anything Italy, especially like I've been to Florence. I love Florence. This was Leonardo da Vinci's first portrait that he was ever commissioned to do. Um, and it's about the girl who is the girl in the first portrait. So I think if you like art and history, I think this is a good one. But I'm really excited to read it. Then next up is The Lies About Truth. This one sounds so emotional. I read her first novel and I for whatever reason, I just did not click with it when it seems like it was pretty universally loved. So that was weird for me. Um, and her first novel was pretty emotional too. I mean, there was things that I did like about it, but I didn't love it like other people did. I just, eh. But I'm really actually excited to read this one. It's about a girl who is in a car accident with her friends. Um, one does not live that was in the car accident. And... She walks away with some really bad burns and scars all over her body and her face. And so she, you know, tries to put back her life after that. But then also there was something with the car accident and some truth coming to light. I don't know. It sounds emotional and really good. Next up is What's Broken Between Us. It's about a girl whose brother drinks and drives and kills a sophomore girl. Um, he goes to prison. He doesn't talk or communicate to his family at all. And then... He gets out of prison and comes back, and obviously that's hard for her to deal with. Next up is Unfriended by Rachel Vale. It's a middle grade novel. I don't typically read middle grade, and if I do, it's typically like fantasy or something like that. This looks like a middle grade Mean Girls kind of story. I'm not sure that I'm super into it. I'll probably pass it on to my librarian friend who can get it in the hands of an actual middle schooler. Next up is Reawakened. This one is interesting sounding. It's a girl is at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. The last thing you'd expect when you're perusing some art and exhibits is for an Egyptian prince to reawaken after being mummified for like uh, lots of years. So she's kind of wrapped up in this quest that he needs to go on and he is in modern day New York which I'm sure is like Whoa. To a prince who lived like in ancient Egypt. Now, I don't really know anything about the quest that they need to go on, but it's sort of prophecy and, I don't know, saving the world. I don't know. I don't know. But there's a romance and I kind of get weirded out by the fact that like, she like falls for a mummy. I mean like there's, like they don't have organs. Like, <laughs> I don't know, that's just a, like a weird me thing. Like I know I... It's like not real, but like mummies. Next up is The Creeping, which looks 
creepy as hell. Um, like, if there's anything, like, you want to scare me is, like, have creepy children on the front. And, like, the back's pretty creepy, too. When the main character was little, her and a friend went into the woods and only one of them returned, her. And she can't remember anything from it. And now she's 17, she just really wants to put it all behind her. And suddenly there's a mudslide and an a corpse of a girl with red hair just like the girl that went missing is unearthed from an ancient cemetery and then this is where it kind of gets a little weird to me apparently there's like a conspiracy against redheads because she realizes that I mean the girl was not the girl that she knew but apparently other redheaded girls or children have gone missing I don't really know that's all I know about it, but it sounds creepy from what I hear. Yeah, conspiracy against redheads. I wonder if, like, I'm not a natural redhead, but that's alarming. Next up for review is a Highlander romance. I do love me a good historical romance every now and again. This is book three in a series, and typically with romance series, you don't have to read in order, although you'll, you might miss something. I need to figure out if I'll miss anything by not having read the first two. Next up is Bounce by Noelle August. I really enjoy this series. It's a new adult series but like without all the angst that I don't like in a lot of new adult books. Um, it's really cool because it's you know real life um, careers, internships, things like that but it's over oh, it is a romance. But I like the balance that it has between like trying to figure your shit out with like your job and stuff like that, your career. This is, I think, the last one, but it's the third installment. I have read Boomerang and Rebound, which are the first two. Really enjoyed them. Really fun, quick romances. The second book focused on characters that were kind of like side characters in the first book. And so we did still get to see the first couple that was in the first book. So I would highly recommend reading th these in order. Super fun, super excited to read this and finish out the series. Next up is Fishbowl. I don't really know a lot about it. It's interesting, but I know that it's set like just in this high-rise apartment complex and I think like in a very short time period. Um, but it like starts out with a fish falling out of the top or the 27th floor or something like that. And that's like the end of the story and then it kind of shows you in like little short chapters about all these people in this apartment and I guess shows us how the fish ends up falling. I don't really know. It sounds really interesting but also really weird. I don't know. Next up, Into the Dangerous World. It's about a girl who is an artist. She does classical painting and her dad, who recently passed away, taught her. Um, so she's trying to decide if, you know, she wants to take that route she's supposed to and go to college and learn art even more. But then she meets a guy who is a street artist and kind of, like, changes her mind about art. And it's really cool. In the book, there's, like, drawings and stuff. Um, there's another page. That. So I always love books that are kind of interesting visually, too. Um, so this one looks really interesting. I'm so excited for this next one. You have no freaking clue how excited I am for it. Or maybe you do. The Rose Society by Marie Lu. I freaking loved The Young Elites. Like, it was one of my favorite books last year. Really good fantasy book. Really good. The main character is so complex and it's kind of like semi a villain. I don't know. Like, but she's not... No, she's just awesome, and it's just so complex. And the way that the first book ended, I've been waiting and pining and needing this book, and it's here, and I'm going to read it soon. So if you haven't read The Young Elites, like, you should get on that before this one comes out. Next up is Damage Done. This one sounds so mysterious. Some incident happens, and this girl's family has to pick up, assume new identities, start a new school. She's got a new name and no brother. That's about all I know about it, and it sounds so mysterious, and I want to know why. I want to know why and what happened, so I'm definitely going to be reading this soon. Next up is Trouble is a Friend of Mine. This is pitched as Sherlock meets Veronica Mars meets Ferris Bueller's Day Off, which I love all three of those things, so, like, I don't even know. If it 
truly is that like this book is gonna be awesome I really don't know anything about it except that I was like okay and there were some sequels for books that I have not read yet um, I'll just show them to you um, the one I do plan on reading is the Claudia Gray one um, I have the first book I bought that one so I'm excited to now be able to read them together. I don't really know much about any of the other series, so let me know if you've read anything from these series and if I should start them, because I don't really know much about them. So that is my book haul from August thus far. So I'm gonna get going and go enjoy the nice weather outside while it still is here. And I hope you guys are reading something good. Bye!